live the dreams I had and work for the dreams I have. That's quite powerful. But you know what's really interesting? It's, it's, it's freedom. Freedom to do what you want, when you want. I'm not sure you can put a value on that. Do you know, I've got two beautiful daughters and they're my reason why. Okay, one's three years old, one's seven. I've never missed a thing. So when you look at your motivation, what else do you need? I hope today is your trigger point. I'm going to share a few of my trigger points on my journey because I think they're relevant. But quite frankly, if you don't get your butts off your chairs and your feet on the street, you need to maybe use this trigger for a different reason. <laughs> okay? But for me, it's all about triggers. What's going to trigger you into propelling yourself into activity? Because we know the old sayings, you know, it's the activity that produces the results. We know this. There's nothing new that I'm going to share with you today. But you've got to have your trigger point. A trigger point for me back then, I lost my best friend on a motorbike accident. And it made me realise that I didn't have a crystal ball. And the trigger point there made me realise that none of us has a crystal ball. We've got one life and one chance to make a difference. So I set about living the dream that me and him always had. Does that make sense? But you know what? Magical effort, magical reward. Bottom line, guys. We know the maths, don't we? We know it up here. We've got to get it in here. That's where we need it. We need to be passionate about creating something, passionate about giving, and passionate about maybe living your dream. Do you remember Oasis once sang about the dreams we have as children fade away? Do you remember that? Every one of us from school, at some point, our dreams faded away. Understand, work ethic and passion is the cornerstone of your success. Is everyone happy? Yeah. Like, really happy? Yeah. Is today going to be your trigger? Not trigger from only fools and horses, incidentally. Three E's. Energy, excitement, and expectation. I've got a little philosophy in life that I've learned along the way. You don't always get what you want, but you'll get what you expect. So start expecting the best, because you flipping deserve it. We've all got a uniqueness about us. We've got this genius about us. We have this ability to do anything we desire if we truly, truly want. You can learn a language in the next 12 months. You can train and run the London Marathon in the next 12 months. Okay? I despise running. Couldn't think of anything worse. However, you can learn to do anything. Does that make sense? Do you believe that when you truly, truly want to? But it's about being consistent. But for me today, your energy levels, your passion to be able to turn your dreams into a reality should be going off the flipping scale. For me, the quality of our life lies within our relationships. And when I think about that and the relationships that I've had the pleasure to build, when you, you're dreaming with people, you're working with people, you're achieving with people, you build this bond that will last for flipping ever. A success is about loving what you do and enjoying the journey. And I'll never forget my mum telling me that. She says, if you don't love what you do, do something else. Do the thing and you'll gain the power. You'll gain the power as in the ability to do something. We all have that inner power. We all have the ability to learn, to do, to become, to give. But you know what you've got to do? You've got to bust on your trade. Read that book. It talks about flight time. It talks about hours in the arena. And then this is really important. Do you know what? Whatever happens outside today, and I, you know, I'm, I always vote every year, and I'm not going to get into a conversation about that. But do you know what? Bottom line, whoever's been in government over the last 14 years hasn't changed my dreams and aspirations, hasn't changed what clothes I wear in the day and how I clean my teeth and how I strive to build my business to turn my dreams into a reality. Whether it rains tomorrow or whether it's sunny, I can't control them things. I can control me and me only. There's things I must accept, like the government, like the weather. But you know what? There's things I can influence. I can control my actions, my belief, and my philosophies. I have to accept other people's, but I can influence people to believe in themselves. I can influence people through leadership. And this is where my three laws come in that I want you to write down. And these aren't my laws. I've learned them across the way. Give value without need of compensation. Give value because you love to. Give value to somebody because you want to. 
Do you know what? It feels good. Serve. Isn't that what we do? By giving them the tools to succeed. We serve them by showing the way because we know the way because we've gone the way. That's a definition of leadership. Know the way, go the way and show the way. And then the true heart of leadership is being able to influence people through what you do, how you do things. Lead with your heart, guys. Sometimes you're going to get hurt. But you know what? Keep loving. Keep trying and keep fighting. But above all else, above all else, the biggest thing to do is to have fun. Do you know what, guys? This world isn't about poverty. It's not about mediocrity. It's about abundance. Everything that you want is available to you if you've got the passion, the purpose, the vision, and the work, elf, uh, work ethic to go out and attain. <laughs>